uh, we're going to be talking at length of them, um, where the, the software-based attestation here is talking about the state of a machine and what's running on the machine. But it's not, as far as I, as I understand, there's nothing here that's going to identify this particular x86 versus that particular x86 if they're running the same hardware. So this is very, very good for attestation where what I care about is a property, but I don't think this can be used for authentication as, as far as I can see it. Uh, and I, I'd like to hear a response from the people who are developing these in terms of a particular machine unless it has unique hardware. Okay, so essentially my, my explanation is uh, as follows. Let me give you one sentence background. Um, I believe that cryptographers hijacked the word authentication out of the dictionary. Okay, so uh, in other words, when you say authentication in cryptography, you mean a very, very specific thing. I believe that you can authenticate objects based on their properties. One property might be the source, might be the identity, but there are many other properties you'd like to authenticate. So what, what the idea of software attestation, just like, by the way, the idea of PUFs, for example, uh, provides you with something, uh, some properties that basically you believe that are authentic after the exercise that you carry out. But that's so, what you said, a to refer to is the robot testimony to certain properties. Call it foo, but it's the same thing. Uh, the station or authentication in this context is really the same thing. You authenticate properties. So, to the people who are, who are, who've been talking about these devices, am I correct in my, my understanding that these are good at properties and they can't do identity of a device? Or, or is that something that I actually missed? Unless you have the identity of the device somehow associated with a physical portion of it, like the SIM card. <clears throat> We've, so one important aspect of software station is that you need to know that the results come from that machine. Um, in a, however, if you have a network of equally fast machines, you actually can achieve identity authentication because you can integrate a identifier of your host that's unique, that you cannot change, that's unalterable, into the checksum as you compute it. And as a result, your uh, attestation is going to include that identity in the checksum. And so then you cannot obtain um, these properties. For example, um, some sensor network sensor nodes have silicon IDs. They're in hardware, you cannot change it. Processors have processor IDs. You can integrate those and they cannot be changed. So it's possible, but what's very important to understand here is, again, we don't solve all the issues. So what we're saying is it doesn't apply to all different systems. And so for a lot of systems, it's not going to work. But for some systems, these techniques give you new properties that you cannot achieve otherwise, we believe. And so that's... Just, just a clarification regarding PUFFs. Mm. I actually believe that what, uh, what we described here in some sense is a PUFF abstraction because PUFFs, physical and functions, functions, in their the realization, what they capture, they capture uh, the most basic, one of the most basic uh, authentication properties of the device. The physics. The physics. Yes. So, so in some sense, PUFFs in, in, in nature uh, are much closer to what we describe here as software attestation than the traditional form of authentication, which is based on secrets. Puffs have no secrets. The only secrets are generated by physics. So once again, in response to George's question, I don't think we have too many, uh, too, too, too many ways to play this. Uh, it, it really depends how we remove that circular dependency between authentication and access control. I wanted to add one more point, uh, just kind of as a little bit of a reflection on this. So we like the fact that you might be able to do attestation without secrets, right? Even these device identities that Adrian just mentioned are, you know, something where you need integrity and authenticity, but they're not a secret. Um, how would you redesign a processor, right, or, or change a platform to make it easier to get the properties that you need from a software-based attestation mechanism, right? Maybe there's some hybrid approach that I think is a really compelling research problem for, you know, 
Can we build something that gives us the properties we care about and talk about today but doesn't need secrets? You know, maybe you need some hardware support. Clearly, from our experience, it'd be nice to have very fast access to the current program counter and other descriptions of the current memory environment. But, you know, I think if somebody made it their mission to design a system to do secret-free, you know, no secrets at a station, I think you could do something pretty neat. Um, so, you know, you've kind of heard both sides of the arguments and some pros and cons of both things. I think it's something that's worthy of uh, some thought. Given the temperature of the room, and <laughs> I, think, I think everyone is fried. <laughs> I think we're all fried, so let's go outside and chill out and have dinner. <laughs>